Hello and welcome back to the Ten Pine Podcast. We're here with me, Lucas Normal, and Beefham. Like that. And this episode is sponsored by Miss Rep Clothing. We're also here today with Shane and Lachlan and Kaylin Lachlan. We <laughs> said that. So right we said them right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Close Spot enough. Close enough. Spot on. Nah, you got her. Yeah, so you're the brothers. Yeah yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So how about who's the older one? Who's the older one? You. The me. Older I'm one? 24 now. Oh dear. I, I just turned 20 the other day. Oh, I'm way 20 as well. Yeah. Oh yeah yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I literally just started it, lad. So um. How do, where are you from and where, how do you start getting into fighting them? Uh, we're from a place called Tyrone, so it's about an hour and a half outside Belfast. Like like real rural, it's like the fields outside Belfast basically, in the middle of fucking nowhere. Yeah. Uh, we grew up there in a farm, way up a mountain, real different from Liverpool. Like. <laughs> not, much, not much fighting. No, 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 there's, much, there's, no MMA, there's no MMA at all really, we had to, had to go looking, there's a big boxing. Boxing's big there, but there's no MMA. The big sport, which is with the sport we started, was a like Gaelic football. Do you know it now? Yeah, I've seen it. Like, like yeah, the I've never played in the it. hand, I ah, you know, just like in the hands. That one. Yeah, that's where we started, and then uh, massive and did we? I big in it, lad. I still am. Way. Still watch it, like thrown in that. But but um, started getting some shit injuries next. It's fuck. It's like football. I football's actually more dangerous than fighting. I think the, <laughs> the fucking injuries, eh? Started getting some shitty injuries when we were, like, teenagers in it. And just got real sick of the rehab, like, lifting weights. Now, I'm so boring, I think. Yeah. And one night I go to him, I'm going to go up to the MMA gym. We're mad in it now, from, from, like, eight ages ago. And just li- literally went to one session, and I was like, I- I'm never going back to football. I'm going to be. I'm gonna do this full time. I'm going to fight in the UFC. That's what it is, isn't from it? Literally one session, yeah, I was like, I'm going to be the best. Just get hooked on a CD. Yeah. I, was, I was the exact same from football to that. Same injury. He got an injury. He's both yeah. popped their knees both now. Popped their knees. You both started... Like MMA at the same time then? Nah, nah. nah I was doing a couple of years. I'm old, a bit few years older, so I was yeah. as well. And it, I was yeah, you were about two years or so. And then yeah. I, I don't mind me, and then I started. And then <clears throat> as soon as I started, I just never never went back. You just fucking lose your mind right, to it, I do. And I like it's like a fucking, like a, I always like the knowledge, like a fucking jigsaw. You <laughs> get, like, get like a ta- like a technique. And you need the next piece of the jigsaw to get the next technique. And that's just, <laughs> the, that's just that actually never even changed. That's still the way it is for me. Just the next piece and the and the next technique. That's why I always find it addictive too, Ken, isn't it? Very mm-hmm. addictive. Yeah. Well, the f- and the te- the technique's addictive, but then the fight and it's when you actually compete yeah, it's, it's and the crowd that you fucking lose your mind that all together. <laughs> <laughs> no, well, I like do. Yeah. Do you just want to be pro footballers then, or Gaelic footballers? Oh, it's only amateur. It's, it's only amateur. Oh, is it? Like yeah, even yeah. like literally, like the the top like the f- in front of was it eighty six thousand people? Yeah. They'll be in work on the Monday. Why is that no ma- I have no idea. But then, you, when you get to the very top, you'll start getting sponsorship and stuff. Like, I'll be still have to work a job. Like, it's no. Yeah. yeah. Well, Dublin G, Dublin be the best, and their G, yeah. they're probably full time. Yeah. yeah. But no money. Like, that's bizarre. That. That's uh, it's mad because, yeah. like, they'll they'll they'll, they'll they'll be really committed. Like, they'll have to train. Someone like if you if you make the county level, you'll have to like train, go to work. Then go train again. Mm. Whereas we're two sessions a day, it's easy. I wake up fucking. I don't get like ten o'clock. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Roll out of bed, go to train. But it's tough, like, because they do they train like pro athletes, but then just no money in it. So yeah, yeah. it's good sport though. That's yeah, good sport. Did you have many amateur fights in um, Ireland? In yeah. Ireland, yeah. I've only fought in Ireland. Well, no, I had one fight here, didn't I? You had one fight here. Yeah, right? I haven't actually fought at a cowboy yet. <laughs> mm. So I had all my fights in Ireland, and then he, you'd won a pile, didn't you? That right, like I was. I was number one ranked amateur in Ireland before I came here. Won all won the two Irish titles, so I had a few good few. That's better in Ireland, lad. Yeah, well, it's not that bad. The, 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 the crowd, the crowd is fucking. The crowds bad. are nuts. But that's when we get the crowd going yeah, wild because I like to, like to wind it up, you know. <laughs> like, uh, I love that. My last fight, the, the boy came into the cage, and I told him I was going to meet him at the door. Aye. But then I, I, forgot, <laughs> I actually forgot. I was like, oh, fuck, I forgot to do that. And then, so we started coming around the ring, and as he came around the cage, I just, like, followed him around. Yeah. And we were, like, right yeah. face to face, and the crowd just goes mental, you yeah. know? This is, uh, uh, see, uh, MMA and Iron's pretty big now, that whole McGregor boom, and that's all, even the amateur shows, like, it's fucking, every man's just airlock drunk on him. <laughs> 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 fucking deadly, so it is. That's deadly. Is he, is he very, like, what's the, what is the opinion of Conor McGregor in Ireland overall? Uh, well, he fucking it's probably fading a bit now, is it? I don't know. Well, he got us two in it, really. Uh, really. He, he was the one who brought it in there, and really. But like now, it's it's changing a bit. Can, uh, uh, are you, uh, I mean, like when I was about 2013, like, it's like every, he was massive. Like every, like in school, and all the, everyone fucking loved him. I'd say it's about uh, 
dying a bit now. He got, he got very, very hard to listen to. I, I went real off him around so about right. the Khabib time. I couldn't listen up to that point. Now he, just, now he just sounds like you're fucking da. Ah, doesn't he? He's he talks. It's nice mad. But he's not Too boring now, is he? Oh, he's settled. Oh, he's so boring. He's like a businessman. <laughs> do you know what I mean? He's like someone who has to deal with business. Yeah, that's yeah, more than that's fighting. Right. Like, I don't want to hear about your fucking, like, how you're, 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 what your children's eating. I don't know. You know. <laughs> <laughs> a little shite, like, isn't it? <laughs> as, yeah. as we're talking about the crowds, I love, like, the, I love the hype. But I don't know. He said, what he tweeted, no one was the nice guys. Well, maybe go back to I that. Know, it's a bit of a shite. How old were you when you came over to Liverpool then? Uh, what is it? You were twenty-two. I was twenty. I was twenty-two. I got. Yeah. It was all. Uh, um, actually, it's probably weird. I remember it because you know, you know, Kyle and I was a team yeah. kind of main gym. It's probably the main gym in Europe at the minute. Um, it's why weird because, uh, whatever it was, it was like, with well, Tills obviously making his race in Kyle and there was like the. UFC Connected or something. I don't know if we had it recorded or it was we were just watching it. But it was the way Colin was talking. He's like, I'm very good at what I do. Like, real confident. Like, yeah. speaking, I'm I'm very good at what I do. I like that. I love that confidence. And he was saying how much it's about the team. Remember? Yeah. He's like, if you're not there for the team, I don't want you part of my team. So we were like, it's fucking cool. Lad. And then Till was like, it was... Uh, it's Collins Way or the fucking highway, and the highway's out the fucking door, and that's how it is. <laughs> and I just really liked the way they were talking. And then I'm a, I'm a, I'm a man who I just I deal in numbers, like and and Collins' numbers are proven. He's the most guys in the UFC from any any anyone from around this part of the world. So I was saying to him that this was literally. I think it was the Tuesday I sent here, and I I fuck it. I'd love to go over that gym. I, I were f- both sent him away. I, it was actually weird. I just love to go over that gym. I swear to God, this and this is the truth. I was like, fuck, I'd love to go over that gym. And then, but by this stage, I, I said, as number one in Ireland, I'd won the right lock of titles and that. And then on the Friday, after I said on the Tuesday, Ali messaged me saying, fuck, my coach is looking some guys over. I've identified you as a prospect or something. Would you be interested in joining the gym? I said, dude, look at this here. What the fuck? What are the odds? <laughs> yeah. And then that was it. I had a fight. I, that was like in, just before Christmas in 2000, I don't know, 18 or something. And then I had a fight in February on the Saturday night, and I was in the cowboy on mats on the Tuesday morning. I was actually your age in the start, wasn't I? I guess well, you those reasons, I, I couldn't go, lad, and have balls. I was uh, fucking right. Uh, I, I'd only really started, you know? Uh, yeah. I was only like 18, and then uh, he says, oh, I'm going to move to Liverpool here and go full time. I said, like, what the fuck am I going to do? <laughs> <laughs> fuck <laughs> you, I said, I can't, <laughs> I was like, I'm going to left here, moan, I'm not going. Yeah. And then, uh, fucking, I, I got here like, the day before lockdown last year. Literally yeah. on the day before yeah. lockdown. <laughs> uh, literally the day before. And uh, I've been here ever since. Just Because we, we were still kind of... Well, the till count for Whitaker it got going in what, about May or so? I we, I never stopped, though. Uh, we never stopped training, so... Uh, it was May. I was bad decision coming over here. Like, what, I'm tr- yeah. I went back home doing nothing. Drinking pints. I, I <laughs> drinking pints in a water. I might have to hang it up. How did your family react to you? Like saying we're going over to Liverpool. My dad, my dad said you need to go, didn't he? Yeah, he said because the training back home is not good, lad. Mm. Well, uh, like where we were wasn't good. Well, it's not that it wasn't good. Again, it was good. I, it was like I, a, a it just wasn't cowboy. You know what I mean? Mm. And, and uh, uh, he goes, if you if you're gonna do that, you need to fucking yeah, we need to go. fucking go. There's nobody messing about with you. Know what I mean? If you're if you're in, you're in. Like, yeah. Have you just found it over in Liverpool compared to back home? I miss home every day. <laughs> like, I there's no point in me lying. lying like, but it, no, just with lockdown, obviously it's a bit more shit. Like there's no, there's not much happening. Um, you're only a twenty minute flight away early, like twenty five yeah. minute flight. Do like Liverpool? No, I love the gym, <laughs> but like obviously I, I miss uh, I miss cows, lad, and feed and <laughs> fucking <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just do miss the like the guard probably our favorite thing to fucking do. I'd say training is go find fucking forest to go walk yeah, about because it's uh, mind you a bit of home. <laughs> but it's it's worth it, like because I mean, actually way back the start of lockdown, we were talking. It was just like us and children, and actually this this always sticks to me with this because I do I miss home every single fucking day. But um, he goes, we're talking about a boy, um, not name, but he was over training one time, but he's mates with his coach, and I goes, ah, he's, he's mates with his coach. We couldn't really move. He wanted to move over, but he, he can't. And then Taylor looked at us and goes, well, do you want to be a mate or do you want to be a champion? Nah, I was like, well, fair enough, you know. What I, mean? yeah. I do miss home and that, but I, I want to fight. I want to fight in the UFC more than that. Then I want to be out with my mates or home when we got there, you know. Yeah. Because if you put your, we put ourselves now in a position where 
what Colin like no, as I said no one from around this part of the world has the man, as many guys in the UFC earning like him or like Cowboy and nothing so it's like now we're like if, if we don't make the UFC don't make a top five don't make world champions it's 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 our, it's our fault yeah literally not his fault he's he's done it. they've done it they know how to get there he's got enough guys there so put ourselves in the best position possible yeah but that's the big difference like back home it's everyone's talking about the local shows you know I don't give in, a our, fuck in our gym nobody, <laughs> they only talks to the UFC they only talks to the UFC when you're in the UFC when, you're gonna gonna, when are you going to the UFC what do you plan to do before you get to the UFC yeah, yeah. yeah. Like that's, you've just got like a clear goal you know what I mean but uh that yes. is like the top of the sport though, isn't it? UFC. It's, it's the only place in the sport. Bellator's kind of creeped in the dog. I couldn't give a flying fuck about Bellator. I'll see you. I'm fucking fighting the UFC. Because it's, it's like, uh, they're, they're paying pretty good though, like to the boys over in Dublin, but you're giving up in your dream. Like, it, I don't I don't like I was going up, I know what I didn't want. I wasn't going around a fucking cocky 17 year old to help people going to be a fucking Bellator champ. I didn't know what the fuck Bellator was. <laughs> <laughs> couldn't give a fuck about it. But, that's, that's my goal in the UFC. Yeah. What weights are you competing at, both of you? Uh, I'm Fallowit, so I'm like 66 kilo. He, you're one below, he's Bantamit. 61 kilo. Yeah. Yeah, are you competitive with each other, like, when you're on the match? <laughs> yeah, probably. Uh, <laughs> 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 Fucking sure. Yeah, we probably are. Look, right. okay, it's, uh, like, I wouldn't want to be seen the losing t- to I him. I don't want to lose any rounds, do you, like? Gym, like well, yeah. But, uh, definitely, yeah. I definitely, I Can't be losing. Yeah, you don't want to lose any rounds, like. Is there no one back home, though, like, apart from McGregor? Because it must be, like, a bit boring. You know, obviously, you spoke about McGregor before. Yeah. But there must be other people as well that you'll hope to in terms of fighting and stuff. Yeah, well, you looked up... Well, I suppose now... Mike McCall, you know, maybe. Uh, McCall, no. I suppose now in Ireland, there was... Not there. in MMA. No, nah, nobody done in MMA, like. But, uh... Kitty Taylor, if you know her now. She's fighting Tasha yeah, Jones, Yeah, 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 yeah. The boxer. She is fucking sick. Here's your lad. Yeah, she, she, she she beat the men? Some men. She had boxed she the nose me. of me, boys. <laughs> <laughs> she was <laughs> fucking lethal. She's fighting you, Blaze, from Liverpool, isn't she? Uh, Tashi Young. Yeah, yeah. She strings three and four punches together. Boom, boom, boom. Fucking sex, who she is. How many hours did it take you? Just training? Oh, we literally live Too in the gym. Left. Like, I, I mean, <laughs> Too many left. Too fucking many. We literally live in the gym. Like, I don't, I, you'll hear people telling how hard they train. I don't I, I couldn't see anyone, I mean, anyone out training us at the minute. Um, so the morning session's all like two hours. Two hours, about an hour and a half, maybe. But and It'll then two hours in the evening, morning. about an hour and a half. Tomorrow's tough morning. So, I'd say I know, tomorrow. three and a half, four hours a day, something like that. Tomorrow morning, well, it's Tuesday, so... It's actually got the nickname Terror Tuesdays. Oh. <laughs> <'Cause> <laughs> they are tight. Absolutely brutal, so it'll probably be about six, five-minute rounds. In the I'd say tomorrow more, because Till's fighting now in Victoria, isn't he? So uh, I'd say it could be fucking eight. It could eight be rounds. ten. It could we'll be eight to ten. This, this would be the hardest week, probably. Yeah, probably will be. Does it up, like, the level for all of you? As if, say, if obviously Till or, like, Aspinall's in camp? Yeah. Is everyone in camp type thing now? Yeah, we everyone yeah. does the same. Though. There's no there's yeah. no split. Yeah. So we've actually, what, since, since lockdown, I think we've done, I'd say about five UFC training camps. Mm. Because Till had a main event... <laughs> Uh, tell I tell Tom and then Grundy's had like three fights that were called off so we done all them camps we had our own fights called off and too. we had all our own fights called off why were yours called off because of like this over the COVID, COVID shit yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. we actually had one uh, called off though, didn't we oh, two September and August wasn't that uh, yeah two actually <clears> two, <throat> two called off eh? yeah, that's brutal lad have you already done the camp like basically the full camp and then it gets called off one was on the yeah. Tuesday oh it's heavy though how do you react to that though like what do you do then you want to drink a pint, lad? Fucking <laughs> straight <laughs> that's li- that's to the bar and nail a pint again. That's what you do. Uh, <laughs> we, uh, I, I, was, I was real down. I was down like 60, 60 something kilos. Tight on the Tuesday and then I was called. It's just shite, lad. It's your fuck it. What do you do? You pack yourself up and go back at it, you know? No point what what promotion was the fight with? Pro Ballum. Yeah. You know, Colin runs Pro Ballum. Does he? Yeah. yeah, yeah I yeah. didn't even know that. Well, it's MTK. Yeah, yeah. And then he's, he's the... So I don't know what the fuck he is. Something to do with empty game, eh? He talks to him now, wasn't there? Talks to him one now in uh, May. Fuck, I hope so. so I don't, don't know what's happening. Definitely be fans there, I don't know. I don't know. I, don't know. I, I, yeah. I, I love the crowd, like, but at this stage, you don't give a fuck. I just want to fucking wanna compete, you know? We've it's been kind of, too long. We've kind of ignored COVID, haven't we? I don't <laughs> listen to any of it. Like, <laughs> I don't listen to any of it. You're just sick of listening to it. I know. So, it's it's better to be shit. like that, isn't it? Nah. I couldn't listen to it. Like. I can't listen to that. What do you call him? Fucking Hancock or something? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Fuck, I can't listen to that. Cunt. <laughs> well, hopefully that because it's, he is a cunt. I heard one saying like, "Oh, I want to see what's like without the crowd." You know? Yeah. But I love the crowd. I like, I, I love the crowd. I see never, that walk out? It's I like, never a, like a, a, a addiction almost. I fucking love it. 
you might as well just be a spar. Like, it's not it's not the same, you know. Now it's about I suppose we need to build the records up again, but it's all about the crowd, you know what I mean? What songs you have when you um, walk out? I don't really have one. It's, do you know like I, I come out as like Republican Irons tune, like Celtic Symphony, but then it turns into you know like Shane McMahon, here comes the money. Last year was because uh, it was just about to come out and it was the Olympia, you know? Yeah. And it done it done the Calix up and that here comes the money and the whole it was like a fucking Mexican wave. Everyone yeah. everyone just came up. That was unreal. That. That's good, right? I don't really have one though. Uh, I need to get one. Come on, like Mike Tyson, just no music. Walk straight to the ring. Uh, I'm trying to go still too. I'd be real. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Hard as the taste. Have the swag going. Mm. <laughs> Who in the gym do you look up to the most? Because obviously you've got like ex UFC fighters and gun UFC <laughs> fighters. Obviously probably. apart from Colin. Uh, probably I'll tell that. He just trained so hard. so hard. Like we were in there now and he was uh, I felt bad because we we we, we were there before him. Yeah. So don't feel that bad, but he we left there and he was beating out in the treadmill. I was like, fucking bad. We just done a quick one because of we trained this morning, then obviously been here the night, but then he was uh like he ran for like forty five minutes and then he's yeah. sitting there doing sprints at the end. So I like, trained so hard and he's um at the top of top of the game, you know what I mean? So yeah. it's something to look up to. Someone to uh constantly try to outwork. I mean that's he's probably thinking the same, fuck these cons, I'm working harder than them. <laughs> do you know what I mean? But it's good to see what it takes to get to the elite, elite level because you'll you'll see like this is the age like fucking Instagram fighters, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Everyone's got vlogs going and fucking all this shit. And I actually would love to get that shit. Maybe something like that, but some of the training that man goes through is fucking oh, that's insane. ludicrous. Like, he must have been hitting pads this morning for about 40 minutes. That Whitaker camp, I, one of the days, like, what the fuck? Oh, it was <laughs> the hardest day of my life, and I probably done half what he done. Yeah. yeah. But it shows you that's good, because now we know what it takes to do the UFC main yeah. events, you know what I mean? Mm. Like, boys, like, we boys back home, and everywhere just probably don't know what it takes, but then we can see, you know, we uh, see every day. Yeah. yeah. I'll tell you exactly what they done that day. What? What are you on? He done a foot. He done a run. I don't know how long. 40, Thirty odd minutes, like right? Forty five minute run. Forty five minute run that day. It was. I tell you exactly. It was the seventh of July because I was kind of preparing myself because he they fought on the twenty fifth, and I was working out how many how far out was that before the toy the toy fight so I can fucking prepare myself to go through that day again. <laughs> yeah. Uh, he done about a forty odd minute run. The hip. Six fives in the pads with Colin, and and that's a session. Like that's a fucking day. Then we sparred ten fives. With 30 seconds in between Then done MMA session Then they're back in At 4 o'clock To train again That's a fucking week yeah. In about 3 hours a So you'll see A lot of the same So people will like People will talk about Oh no one trains like me But that man puts it in So But I, I think we put it, we, we train as hard yeah. as, as any as anyone So That's why I'm Training harder than any amateurs I know well Him being pro but train harder When do you think amateurs. You'll turn pro? Uh, it'll probably actually be soon enough now. Now this COVID, I'm, yeah. s- I'm still only four and old lad. But uh, yeah, it's, it's probably at least another year. Yeah, uh, I wanted to be ten and zero. My goal was to be ten and zero and be number one in the UK. Mm. But I don't know if I'll get that now. But uh, I don't know. Go COVID's on. put that back a bit. Yeah, yeah. I haven't, haven't fought. Any, I never fought at the age of nineteen. I fought yeah. last February and then turned nineteen in March, and then didn't fight for a whole year and then turned twenty the other day. So. Covid's well, I'm now three and I was a pro. I think I'd probably be sitting six or seven. I know, only for Covid, but that's obviously shite. But long term, I think for me anyway, it'll benefit because I if I say if I was sitting seven, no problem that far off the UFC where I would get maybe would be too early get beat up that way. Yeah. So if it's prolonged year with my skill set or skill set under Colin and Mike and Ali and Till and all these boys has just fucking skyrocketed. And so now I'm three and oh when my skills are higher, so I've got extra bit of time. Sorry, right. I'm sorry, right. I'm like twenty four and three and oh, do you know what I mean? But the end of this year, if say if we did get three fights, no fight in May, could be sitting here oh uh, uh six odd no pro, seven no amateur. Yeah, that'd be the aim. But uh, that'd be a good year, like you know what I mean? That's what Colin was saying, as you can all, you can see it as man for have done all these training camps. I've oh, just been improving like mad and nobody's seen it. So when we get into the cage, our opponent somebody's getting fucked up. Yeah, somebody's <laughs> getting somebody up. is getting fucked up. But like the opponent will be watching my, my last fight, and it's just going to be a completely different fighter. You know what I mean? So yeah, yeah. You, can see, you can see is it positive for that way? Yeah. What is your goal for like that first year then after like this COVID's gone? 
Depends on the promotion. I watched the Cage Wars at the weekend, the Bantamweights, and I'd run through the two of them in a round. Sort of, 100%. <laughs> the two boys who fought for the belt, Cartwright and some wee fucking pit bull looking country. <laughs> he was a bad she, she was a bad looking bastard. <laughs> they were shite. They were fucking shite, I thought. But um, it just depends on the promotion. I ju- it's just about winning and improving. Um, if it's pro battle, just getting three wins, four wins, and uh, whatever you do wrong, improving in the gym. But that's still improving and getting the record up. I'm not being you see any any time too soon, anyway. So I would say that. But uh, aye, that's it. Like, just keep keep winning, probably. Yeah. yeah. Get the shows in. I'd love to get as much shows as you can, couldn't you? How it's often would you fight if you could? Every I'd eight, eight to ten weeks, probably something I'd like every, that. I'd fight every weekend. Four or five years. <laughs> yeah, <that's laughs> I, I don't cut that much weight, you know. Yeah. yeah. So if I was told I could bang out three in three months or three in two months, mm. I would definitely. How do much it. weight do you cut? Ah, well, it, it is getting bigger, isn't it? Yeah, I'm, getting fat. <laughs> yeah, I'm, <laughs> I'm actually probably up to about 10 kilo now yeah. about to cut but I'd, I'd get it down you know what's what I mean? that in like pounds or stone oh, was that about 23 pounds or so <laughs> two stone then yeah two stone uh, so that's a lot to be honest mm. uh, like, it is a lot but like I'm quite quite curb at the moment I'm eating a lot of carbs yeah. so I cut back in the of it and get the weight down but uh, I'd get it done like, the weight cuts wouldn't really be that big of a problem a lot of yeah. fighters found that out, don't you, like, cutting weight? Like, yeah. we had Lee Shadwick and didn't we mm-hmm. before, and he said that's probably the hardest part of being a fighter. He's a big yeah. dude, isn't he? Yeah. You know more than me. I, I, last year I was a lot smaller. So, like, going and I actually had real problems with my, my last fight camp. I, oh, I got, too low? got way too low. I was, like, that was actually the big problem. I, like, nearly was eating too clean, you know what I mean? Mm. I was you thinking, can overdo it, too. Yeah, Energy I was, training that. I was thinking about the weight cut way too much, and, uh, End up cutting barely any weight, but you would probably know more by the weight cost than me, wouldn't you? I've had some absolute stinkers. I, eh? I've had, to, <laughs> I, the, I've got, I think the most I've got was seven overnight. That was the day before that fight. It was stupid. Seven <laughs> kilos were, overnight. Seven kilos. That's eh? a lot of weight to lose. Yeah. Yeah. We were actually, uh, we were actually day. cutting weight each, with each other last September. We fought in the same show up yeah. in the Olympia, and uh, I wasn't too bad. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> <laughs> it, was, it was rough enough. We were uh, sitting in a, you know, Derby Lane. Yeah, we were sitting in there, and uh, I'd, uh, I'd you'd be w- fucked up like your head was away. His head was wrecked, but uh, I had my weight cut done, and uh, he came out and he was sweating from the sun and all, uh. and he ripped everything <laughs> off him. <laughs> the whole like we were in the middle of a gym. Rips the boxers off him and just lies <laughs> down the floor. Because your head, be so, if, if you're at that point of wake up, you're just like, oh, get the fucking road. I said, you can't do that. <laughs> man, man walking by the gym, him lying there butt naked. He <laughs> fucking like, what, now, two, three kilos to go? Uh, it just, sometimes, sometimes, see, like that, 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 that weight cut was actually, the, that, the, the, the training part was easy. The bass were easy, but the, the sauna was terrible. Yeah. It's just it's part of the sport. Do you never just think about moving up though, if it's that hard? Uh, I but just see bantamweights when you get a hold of them. I just feel so so strong. Bantamweight feels so so Who's so. Who's a phantom in the UFC? Is it figure figure eight though? Well, that's fly. That's fly. Champions so, the way you are, you know, pure young. Oh well, you used to be, didn't it, Peter Young? Nah, that's right. That's that's right. Need someone in the head. Yeah, I was soft from all you But uh, up, TJ Cody, all them guys. It's getting good the division actually. Get but you, you would you'd get some big feathers, wouldn't you? There'd be some guys if I stood beside them, I'd look like a midget. <laughs> <laughs> Six foot, so nah, I'm a I'm a bantam mate, like I'm not a not a featherweight. Yeah. Who's that feather? Is it Hol- Holloway? Well, it's a beat on that. Holloway, yeah. I'm sure, we were talking to Till, and he was saying yeah. that your boy, you know, your boy's a beat. Mm. So yeah, he says the same height as him. He actually, he's bigger than him. He goes bigger than me. Him, big guy, big guy. He's like fuck that. I don't want to fight that bastard. <laughs> Did you rush him? Yeah. yeah, they're all just weirdly built though. Yeah. Uh, even the heads look hard. You know, like <laughs> he head. looks like it would be sore to punch him. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Be, doesn't he? Are you, he's rushing. You want to fight too? He's just rushing on the way up. He's looking at Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a uh, wee boy Ingram or something. I don't know. Like, I got Ingram off. Common under a thing with him the other day, but. Some Russians coming up undefeated in the UK. Aye. Uh, he's smoked. I always want to fight a Russian. Just, so something, like, just something different about them, isn't <laughs> it? Yeah, that is, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, a Russian just... over in Russia. Them and all the like steroids. Rocky. Uh, <laughs> Putin yeah. in the front row. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that'd be living the dream now. That'd be yeah. sick. What did you both say your biggest time, sir? Mine's my, my mindset, my mentality. No, you. Probably mix probably mix it up, lad. That's what I think. Because, yeah. like, uh, you, you see, like, anyone who comes in, anyone who comes into the gym I always beat from them. a different yeah. gym, you can yeah. no, we can normally beat them at some. At something? Yeah. yeah. Like they if might, I could strike, you get them there. They might beat you in boxing. But like then I'll take them down and be able to 
Gobble fuck them. Take them down, you put them out, strike them. That's all mine, though. That's intelligence and yeah. stuff like that. Cardio was a big thing in our gym, too. Yeah. Like, boys coming from other gyms and they might be sitting down before the round's over. Yeah, some good we're, games. Too. We're looking at them like, you know, them you're shit. only halfway through, lad. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We, do, we do so much rounds, you know what I mean? Yeah. So we're all used to sparring, so. I've seen Conor Ben came to the gym, didn't he? Yeah. Did you uh, have a little yeah, while? Yeah. What was he like as a wrestler? Uh, no. <laughs> he's, not, he's not a wrestler, he's a boxer. He'd never yeah. done it. He was a yeah. nice, nice guy, though. Nice. But uh, he was he was on about come for spawn the day after. I right, never came. No, he never came. Shut himself. <laughs> <laughs> he's just saying that. He punches the head of him boxing. Uh, no, Why did you use shoes, MMA? Overboxing? Well, we don't box anymore. Really. I uh, started boxing. Well, I don't know for about six months. I just get bored of it. Now, I don't know the winters for a right, great lot of years, mm. the winters, but... Uh, Football's That's a sport, lad. Every, everyone plays Gaelic football. Yeah. So, like, you would only do it to stay fit, you know? Yeah, and then as right. soon as Gaelic came back, you were back to it. Yeah. But then when you kind of get out of that bubble, you kind of move on to something else, you know? Yeah. Isn't, like, our uh, type of football popular? Soccer? Uh, yeah, we soccer, both, football. Uh, <laughs> uh, you say football, uh, We both play soccer, didn't we? Uh, he's a big Liverpool fan. I suppose you know. It's all I wear Everton. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nah, I'd be Liverpool lad. But I'd love to go to a massive even over here, even if it was everyone and yeah. get fucked with the crowd and the atmosphere on the day, you know. Yeah. Mm. Now nah, we both played soccer, didn't we? You probably played a bit I shit. Older than me, I would have been more I I started in striker, moved to right wing, then moved to right back. Further away from the Nazi again. Further away from the Nazi again. Then moved on to the bench for me. Aye. Well just both see the hardest fingers not being an MA fighter. MA fighter? Um, the ears, lad. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> what the ears? The cauliflower ears. <laughs> <The pain. laughs> That's just probably just going through Nightmare. years of fucking. Like, literally, it'll take you years to get anywhere. Mm. Like, you will have to go through years of being broke. Years of. En- like, you wake up on a Tuesday morning, your fucking elbows bruised, your knee, you pop your knee on the Monday, your fucking cauliflower ears gone. You having a bean in the bank, miss home, everything. You just have to get through it. Yeah. For fu- and then you have to do that the next day. You can't be full of shit. And the next day you have to do years and years and years. And you actually have to just and you have to just keep positive and enjoying it through that time. Mm. That's I'd it. say that's probably the hardest thing. <laughs> that's not even hard because I fucking love it. I love training. Like, you know, <laughs> yeah. I, 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 but then like Conley, really Conley Con, like, kind of he sat us all down one day because there's a lot of times that like, we'll do a really hard session and Colin like sat us down and have a word with us. You know, like the mm. whole group. And he started like saying, uh, "If you're in this sport to make money." Like just how tough it is, you know, because yeah. you have to get to the very top, don't you? Like? Need them flying knee bonuses. Uh, yeah. down <laughs> like so, if you're spinning an elbow, in a way, he was kind of saying, like, if you're motivated by money, you're you're probably not gonna make it. Nice no, so people see people see like McGregor rocking up on a yacht, you know what I mean? Stuff like this here, like, oh fuck, you're doing it, me. Guy like, working, we work on an Irish bar at the weekend, and a couple of boys. This is before COVID and stuff. Boys came over. Who'd been in a few of my face knew me and that come up me. I was working in the bar and he goes, Oh, you say you're making some money at that sport, are you? And I was like, Nah. And you start laughing, you're like, That's all right, you're lying. You're... I'm literally working at a bar serving the pints. So I'm like, Obviously, I'm not, you fucking digger. Begging for a tip. Uh, but I uh, give me a tip. But uh, that's just that's probably it. But it's not even to enjoy the, you have to enjoy the journey, as they say. I say that's probably the tough thing. People think that because DC McGregor, he's like he was, was the poster boy of it, wasn't he? Yeah, yeah. And yeah. he's like in his yachts, and that's why everyone must be like uh, that. Oh, is a fuck. People even moan about the UFC pay. Like Masvidal and John Jones had a little dispute, didn't they? With uh, yeah. Uh, everyone thinks he can get more. It can, fuck, it can it's, can like, be, it's tough for the start, lad. How much money? Do you, much money is enough money. Do you know what I mean? Do you know how much yeah, money do you need? Like, fuck yeah, that's true. Yeah, but you'd be going in the start but, making ten to fight, ten to win, and then if you lose, you only get ten grand. And then if you're fighting in Vegas, you get taxed for that. So you'll lose about half of it. Yeah. Then you have to pay your coaches. It's going to just grab the so mic, start talking mad shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> fucking, I'm not even joking. It's like, just literally start going pure Kobe Covington, fucking WWE style. <laughs> <laughs> fucking make money. If you have asked what you're in it for, do, do that shit, like, you know what I mean? What do you reckon you should be like in a press conference and that? Oh, good, I so I, like <laughs> I, I had a couple of sit-downs with my arms are facing that. They're fucking mad. I've but, uh, seen one of them on YouTube, you, you know, see that? the look, yeah. <laughs> you were just like laughing at the fellow. <laughs> <laughs> that was mad, the, the atmosphere, that one was sick. But I know, I, I like that. It just it depends who you're fighting in that, but no, I'll be good with that shit. Do you have any superstitions before your fights? I have like weird OCD, you know what I mean? Yeah, it's like I have to do all... I don't really, I have a little weird shit like that. I wouldn't really, now. what would you have? 
I don't know what I'm saying. Even every Some morning. Some weird shit. So, <laughs> <laughs> so, not even, not even. Just, I was weird OCD stuff. I don't know. What you sort of do then to keep yourselves calm before the fight and that? Keep your head. I'm so relaxed. I don't know. I, 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 I don't. Uh, I never really. Mm. Not that I wouldn't say I don't get nervous. You get like wee jitters like when you're getting your hands wrapped. Yeah. Mm. Like wee jitters and stuff. I, don't, but know, like, I don't know. It's more excitement though, yeah. isn't it? See when I you get, fucking love it. Like, I swear to God. I'm see when it. you get in the cage <laughs> and you've got the boy in front of you. It's just. It's like any other day. It's like, no it's just, fear. Nah. At all. No, I've never. I've never. I think he could potentially really hurt me. Yeah. Never, lad. It's like fucking. It's like the best. It's like the best buzz. It's like nothing. Cl- See, after you do that, lad, it's like there's nothing close to senior backstage. It's like a fucking. It's like like being the SAS guy, first guy into the door. You know what I mean? It's like nothing like it. Do you know what I mean? It's like f- oh, come on, the fuck, Davy. <laughs> but I, I, I've only. I'd say seven undefeated pro, but I lost back in the amateurs way back. I'd say the first fight after that loss is probably when yeah, my eyes ever like actually nervous. Not even of the guy or knock me out. Just probably a feeling again. That's the time I was really nervous, but. Be nervous for the next one, probably. Mm. It'll be a bit weird getting back to everything, you know. Yeah, I kind of know. Sure, I'll, it'll be coming up to mm. about a year and a half out. Uh. We're still getting no word of a fight, really. Yeah, mm. I don't know when we're going to be back, and so the next one's going to be a bit time. weird. But just have to handle it. Whoever hands the bar in the day is probably going to win. So, would you obviously prefer Carl to be there, though? Yeah, yeah, yeah I prefer because yeah. I I play with the crowd, lad. So I, do I. I get the crowd going. I get him nervous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, your boy nice. when the boy came into the ring last time. I was shouting at the crowd and I was getting in his face and all. <laughs> and uh, in Liverpool, remember, your boy had a mad reception, so he did. Yeah, he was and I was boy. fucking, I was calling the crowd up, telling him, and he was sitting there shading himself. So, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, I legit, you can just use the crowd, you know? Mm. Just use the crowd to your advantage, you know? So. Just yeah. work with a sports psychologist or anything like that. No, I, I, I believe if you need that, you're mentally weak. Yeah. Uh, do you, yeah? Yeah, I, yeah. Well, not, I don't know if you're mentally weak, but I just think. I think that's my, my, my the best thing I have is my mentality and my mindset and driven and all that shit. And I don't I don't know I, I never think it would nearly create problems in my own head. You know what I mean? If I start talking to yeah. about it. I Plus, uh, if we went into the gym and says we were getting a sports psychologist, oh, I tell you, you slap him. Does he not work with one? No, oh, no he would probably think he's got don't. loads of massive team around him. You know. Like Colin, Colin is a sports Colin, 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 uh, He's a fucking hypnotist, let alone yeah, fucking sports nah, he, I would say Colin's as close to one as you would get, like, so. I don't know. I th- you I, need to talk, probably just talk to him. Yeah. yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? You could have, like, any famous person or celebrity to get in the ring with, you know? Who would you have? Probably oh. go Jake Paul the minute the comes. I'd have to go, fuck yeah. me, he's a bell end, hey? McGregor and Crow Park, though. What? Oh, well, I was not fit, right? That'd be sick. But I'd yeah, have to swing a right hook at Jake Paul. that Jake Paul either. What? <laughs> You watch it now? You watch him all that shit? Oh, the cheese and all that, isn't he? He's a dickhead. Do you think he's going to be Ben? Yeah, I do, yeah. Do you think he's going to win now? I think he is. <laughs> <laughs> but I have to put money on it, yeah. Uh, ben is so bad in the feed, isn't he? Do you know what, though? It'll be good when he better. finally comes up against someone and gets proper done in. Oh, he will. He will. He's calling it. Is it McGregor or some shit? No, that McGregor. He called out uh. someone. He followed like, McGregor's wife on Instagram. That's it. Seen that. See that. Seen that, eh? Colour four, sore that. What's that shit? She's sore that. Can't be saying that. Nah, can't be saying that shit. He's clever though, isn't he? The fact that it's all over about him now. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that's, 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 that's all he wants, isn't it? Exactly, aye. He's actually not that bad though. Like, he's not bad. Skill wise, you mean? Yeah, skill wise, he's not. It's not as bad as you think. He's not as bad as you think. Like, I, I think you'll beat Ben Askren. The problem is though, if we beat him. It's I like half beat a UFC fighter. I know. Next it it looks fighter. so bad for us, doesn't it? Mm. How bad would it look for Ben Askren, like, wouldn't it? But no, but it looks bad for MMA in general, because it looks like this is... I don't give a fuck. This is what MMA fighters are I'm boxing those off, I'm like, but that way, fuck yeah. me. <laughs> ben Askren. But with him, no, he, he's already like a meme, isn't he? Do you know, because of ben, that? Oh, because of know, the mask. He can't get knocked like, what was he, like, 88 no or something you've seen today? I know. In oh, high school? 96 or something like that. He's a fucking Olympic athlete, trained so hard, and he's literally that fucking gay, good knee in the head, and probably gonna get knocked <laughs> out. Like, it's mad. Like. I just think you would react if you did lose then. So especially with, like, I know how, like, we've just been talking about. Well, I did lose a few years back, but, but a knockout, I don't know, fuck, probably would, rack my head, but. I would take that bad. If you got knocked out by Ben Askin, that'd be a tough one to take. <laughs> but, like, yeah. you just have to get up and get on it, don't you? I, but I, uh, that, what I lost back as an amateur, I, I am very, very happy that happened. Um, just keep gives you fuck, it keeps you wired like in a different type of way, and it still has. And I, I, I don't know how many fights I've won since that. I don't think I've been out of the first round since that. 
That was years ago. No, no, it was one time, one title fight, that Butterbean one. Ah, uh, sad now, wasn't it? I, um, and it almost nearly still feels some years ago that I'm on loss, if that makes sense. It's fucking, it's a mantle, it just fucking wires you. Um, so if you, if you put it in, in the right, if you, if you treat it the right way, it's a good thing, but... Because like some like, like John Calvin's around saying you win or you learn all this shit is a load yeah. of fucking cock that you know what I mean you win or you lose <laughs> you, can you learn regardless you learn from a win too though, you learn from a win like but my my last performance was a uh, wasn't a dead performance was it like no. wasn't a good performance so like you can take that as nearly a loss you know what I mean yeah so I was kind of like a yeah I was kind of like the best situation because I still won yeah. yeah felt like a loss do you still think like that even though you've won. I oh, hundred percent. Like done better. Yeah. Oh, 100%. I literally, you I feel to. like I'm coming off a loss nearly. Yeah. Because it was so, it was close and shouldn't have been close. You know what I mean? I made made really hard work of it. Yeah. What's well, then? Sleep on a win and you wake up on a loss. That's what it is. Cheesy. I oh, fucked up. Cheesy. Burger cliches. The best venue is where you fought so far, in terms of crowd. Uh, yeah, that, was the, that was pretty nuts for me that day. This place back home, I thought in Ulster Hall was probably the best. You meant to fight in the Odyssey, you know? You wouldn't know it now. Yeah. It's like the it's like the echo of Belfast. Oh, yeah. Just the arena. It's the arena. I yeah. SSA arena. SSA arena. It's massive. Like he's meant to fight in that in May last year. It was obviously cancelled for COVID on the cage wires on the cure. Before he came to come on there. This COVID has wrecked us, lad. <laughs> <laughs> it's absolutely destroyed us. But uh, fucking wreck your head, eh? Everyone's everyone's the same. So do I feel like it's helped you because you obviously moved to Liverpool? Yeah. And like. You said you were from more of a rural place. Do you feel like you would have been tempted more to go out and that type of thing if it was open? Yeah. Well, COVID probably took more pints than what I have. Oh, <laughs> sure. See, lad, we had, we had a good wee setup, didn't we? What? We would train like really hard during the week and we'd, we know we had no fights. What? Oh, so COVID? We, oh, COVID. So yeah. We were just taking pints at the weekend then and then training. <laughs> so we were actually loving life at the start. I think it's sick of it. Then, I, I, then, I, I, then hey. it got to about July and we're like, right, this, this needs to change. You're sitting on a Saturday night with fucking. Guinness and you're like, what am I doing in my life? <laughs> so, I mean, I need to get back. I need to get fights over there. What's going on? Could uh, Colin sell well, when you went back on a Monday or whatever that you've been drinking oh, on the no, weekend? It's all mindset. You just fucking... <laughs> <laughs> God. Hey, no, but uh, when we've been back to full training... Oh, you don't do it then. What we drink at the weekends? It was yeah. just because we were training by ourselves. We're locked down, you know? What yeah, was that like, just that. training? Like, we, you, you mean you were training at home? Or you were training just by yourselves in the gym? Uh, us... us Tell and stringer is there, isn't it? Basically, just us two and tell, yeah. Mm. And uh, tough though. Okay, it was tough because it was like it's a, it's a bit boring though because there's only so many things you can do. We weren't really uh, being coached, but then like uh, we kind of got a setup going where we were. It was like Tuesday and Thursday. It was just like ten threes of spawn, wasn't it? Name. So we were just doing rounds of tells. So it was fucking I bastard. It was tough. <laughs> <laughs> but like, who who's getting that training back home? You know what I mean? Yeah. Like everyone else was sitting at home. Nobody was even training. Ah, uh, but then doing, I, doing their home workout somewhere. Spawn one of the best in the world, so yeah, it sort of turned out to be a good thing, you know what I mean. And then, then, then the three of them got a fight on Fight Island, so the whole thing was back then. It was like that late athlete type stuff, then like the camp was all Oh, like, yeah, yeah. He goes to me, uh, well. <laughs> he goes to me one day because we were, it was only us two and Tell, really. And he goes to me, yeah, uh, Jig has any chance to take us to Fight Island now? He goes, there's absolutely no chance. <laughs> Fucking be deadly on it. <laughs> Literally no chance. Like. No, no chance. Who's the most um, naturally talented? Would you say in the gym? I don't know. See, everyone's very experienced, mm. so we never really seen. You need to see somebody from the start for that, don't you? Yeah. It's hard to tell who's naturally talented because everyone trains so hard. Maybe Elliot. Yeah, by Elliot Jenkins. Do you know him from? He'd be a big Aaron fan no. too, wouldn't he? He's <laughs> a big Aaron fan, but uh, he's naturally skilled. Like. Naturally skilled. I've ever seen that. Spinning breakfast and yeah, so yeah. many skills, but just, just laugh at you in the middle and then whip a spin. And you're like, What the fuck? <laughs> just a bit too laid back, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Most laid back ever, man. But he's so much talent. Hmm. Where would your dream fight be? Well, I want to fight obviously the T Mobile in Vegas. Mm. That'd be sick if you got the rock up. If you had all the lads over from fucking Ireland in the fucking Vegas and you seen your name up in the lights, holy fuck, that'd be unbelievable. But <laughs> well, there's a place uh, being built back home, Belfast, it's called Caseman Park. That's my A goal, or one just A goal. It's not. It's not like it's not even. You'd you'd need to see it to believe it. How like out of hand it's got. It's got like fucking big ru- bushes drummed about here, but it's been all renovated. And when it's been, whenever it's rebuilt, I'd love to. I'd love to f- bring you a see that someday. But that could take fucking five, six, seven years time. Crow Park for me, probably. That mm-hmm. it's like eighty thousand stadium in Ireland. Mm-hmm. But if you got the 
So you'd have the fans on the pitch, you know. So it'd probably be about a hundred thousand. That's awesome. yeah. But like McGregor's been talking about it for years, but there's something yeah. like with the curfew. Aye, the curfew or something. They can't get it done, but that'd be a dream, obviously. You know. What I mean? Yeah. Has yeah. you ever? Well, what's the biggest place he's fought in Ireland? Three arena, nine thousand. It's not that big. Why is he not doing anything bigger? Uh, it it kind of got because then it becomes like an American with American pay per view. You can't really fight in Irish time, yeah. so yeah. it'd have to be like five a.m. here, and that's where the curfew fucked it. He Conor was McGregor's like Conor McGregor though. He can say to I'm sure oh. he can say I wanted to be an artist. That's yeah. what he said. Could he's, you bring over though? He said, like, "Yeah, you want to bring Khabib over? Crow Park, you're very quiet, very quick." <laughs> 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 he's very, he's very <laughs> but it's not because we were in the top of it. Uh, we were sitting there one day years we ago. We used to go watch all football, you know, and we mm. both just started MMA, hadn't we? Uh, years ago. And we were think we were saying like, imagine the cage in the middle uh, of it. And just just man. ever since that is all I've like. I'd love to do that. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely insane. But Vegas is obviously the number one. That'll be fucking nuts. Taking all the lads over to Vegas. Holy fuck. That'll be lethal, <laughs> wouldn't it? Why's that for fuck boss, it? Take me. over. For a rip. Oh, lad. Tri colors every road. <laughs> <laughs> lethal. Would you, um, have you just fought on the same card? Yeah, once. Uh, one time, I. My pro September. debut? Yeah, yeah. I got uh, he got a nice head kick here, wasn't he? Yeah. I fought a guy yeah. who had uh, 40 professional fights. 40 losses. 40 losses. <laughs> 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 oh, 41 or something, was it? Oh, my God. Was he, was he that bad when you fought? Oh, he him? literally was 0 and 41 or something. I don't know what the fuck it was. I, uh, he's a sh- like he no- the only thing about him is everybody took him down, but he knocks the odd boy out. So I was like, right, fuck, I'll probably take his guy out. He comes out first day and nearly takes me down because I was like, oh, fuck. Oh, I know. End up top him. <laughs> He came out for a glove touch and he ran around the cage. Left out, do Absolutely <laughs> empty his fist. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I fought that night too. I fought away from, from Liverpool. Yeah. yeah both, both got the win, so it was good. Do you yeah. know one of you's lost first? Do you re- let's say you Thank fought you. first and lost, for example. Yeah. Right. Do you reckon that'd affect you? Nah, you have, to, you have to be good. At, you have to be. You have to be good at not caring. Even your whole team that night, you obviously caring the whole way built up. But you have to just even if like I've seen guys from been back in Ireland, that guys who when their teammates won, it was like they won. They were almost yeah. in like fucking party mode. And then they went out and lost. You have to not give a fuck regardless of the win lose draw. Keep your keep your own head down and and uh, worry about yourself. Really. You just have to think about yourself and your own fate. Yeah. Can't be thinking about anyone else, really. But yeah. it, it probably will be tough, wouldn't it? Aye, tough enough. Like, you're fuck. Aye. <laughs> no, like, I'm joking. Aye. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Aye. What do you think the best like system of fighting is? Because obviously you've got like in MMA, it is mixed martial arts, isn't it? You've got yeah. obviously the like, BJJ, like wrestling, boxing, yeah. kickboxing. I'd say wrestling. Oh, wrestling's the most important yeah. MMA. Because if you've wrestling, you can dictate wherever it goes. You can stop from hitting the ground. You can yeah. bring it to the ground. You know that's what the mean? best thing about Cowboy, I think. That's yeah. the, it's the biggest difference to back home. That's when I lost that time a few years back. That was uh, my wrestling was good enough. My get ups, my sprawl had nothing really. That's the problem with everyone, I think, back home in Ireland. Um, no get ups. There's no get ups. There's no. We make Gunley know him now. Yeah. He's our wrestling coach and uh Ali mm-hmm. helps us out a lot too. I think that's the biggest change in Cowboy. There's like I let there's nobody would ho- no band would hold me down. And he's it's, we're all getting in that gym. Yeah. Um that's the wrestling's the most important. That's why I would say that uh, when you do get that's where our confidence comes from. You get, like these big guys coming in from all over the UK and mauling them, taking them down, controlling their wrestlings, that's definitely the most important. But I uh, like the, like the scrap and the feet more than anything. Like, <laughs> you know I mean? It's the most. You see, you do see most of the champions in the UFC. You're all wrestlers. That's it. That's Aye, it. Like you forgot you are Khabib, yeah, didn't yeah. you? Yeah. Usman, all yeah. of them. And even if you're a striker, uh, like till there's wrestling, it's get ups or lethal. You know, what I mean, you need that. You need you need to have it, or you will get mauled. Yeah. I think. How do you think he wins? Obviously, you're gonna say he's gonna win. How do you think? How do you think he'll win? I think he'll just school him the I outside. He schools him. Most rest time that in the gym nowadays. Like, he's, uh, it's hard, hard, it's hard, hard to know, lad. Man. You say in the day, like there's only so many times you can take win, that man. left hand. Uh, like, uh, I just think he's a level above. I think in middleweight there's like Till Whitaker and Adesanya, and then there's like a mm. big drop. Then guys yeah. like Brunson and Kevin, Kevin Holland. Holland. I don't think they're that fucking level. He lost, didn't he, Kevin Holland? Yeah. And he was talking yeah, to Khabib in the middle. Oh, well, no, just... Idiot. You can't be talking while you're losing, like... No. He's a funny bastard, though, isn't he? Yeah, he is, yeah, he is funny, like, funny he? he won five in a row. He got five out of the year, didn't he? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Should have been, cam- been Cam's at that, I thought. I don't know. I like mm. Cam's at a hard <laughs> hunt. And he's just like, gone for smish to everyone. What's so... Where do you both see yourselves in, like, five years, Sam? 
five years from now. Mm-hmm. See, wouldn't it? Well, I'll definitely use five years. I hear you definitely need to see five years. I'll top ten. Yeah, uh, I probably just I'd say I'll probably just be hitting at that stage. Mm. I'll pro- I probably open the see. I plan to be pro in about probably a year and a half. Yeah, yeah. and then three years as a pro, you'd probably be hitting it, wouldn't you? Yeah. So ho- hopefully, the, hopefully you see, lad. That's the plan. Yeah. Would you not? Would you not go to like a Bellas or anyone like that? Do you know when they came yeah. in? Nah. So you'd say you'd just send them down. Nah, wouldn't have left my friends and family and everyone back home in Ireland if I'm not fighting Bellator. Could have done that there. Do you know what I mean? I want to fight. The best. I just want the best. I want to like. I want to be locked in a cage with the best fighter in the world in front of me, and like I want every person there to think I'm going to get annihilated. Yeah. And just to lock the cage and to look in front of them, and I feel like are you ready to go? And I'm like fucking sure I'm ready to go. <laughs> so, I mean, I want that pose. That's what I want. The best fighter in the world. Who the fuck that is? Purian, Cody, Yarbrand, TJ Dillashaw, any of them. That's that's what I want to fight. Anyway. He was on the juice then, wasn't he? That TJ. He did. I prick. Well, he was on something. I was EPO. Cunt. EPO yeah. yeah. What you what are your just what are your thoughts on that like like EPO and stuff for people using it? Brutal lad, because I said we train so fucking hard, like so so hard, and like he just just cutting the queue, like it's like you wake up one day you're real sore, you can't be bored going to train, but if you've that juice shit in you, it does you don't get that, you recover quicker, you can go. It's like putting EPO when you like putting on a third lung. You just like mm. don't it's like so much it's like a cardio booster, isn't it? It's I actually don't know anything about that he, shit. He actually has to exercise during the night. I saw something shit like that. He actually has like four in the, so he doesn't have a stroke. Yeah. So that's like that's the level just to cheat. To, what did you say then? Yeah, he has to like keep his heart rate up so he doesn't have a stroke during the night. That's mad that yeah. it's nuts, lads insane. Like who who would do that just for the win, you know what I mean? I'd say he's the person I'd love to fight most in the world, him. Yeah, well, I've very, just I because of all using physically hate him. <laughs> <laughs> not joking, it's not even told you. Even that, like he left his team in that and like them lads and Kyle Wan have helped us <coughs> like so much. Like they every day like helped us and uh helping us get our dreams and that. Colin all Ali Grundy, all them boys. He he had that in Uriah, took him out of school and not only did he leave him, he fucking turned against him and fucking started slagging him and his Done a fucking ultimate fighter against him and all, yeah. competed against him. It's like, just couldn't relate to him in any way, shape, or form. I'd love to fucking punch his teeth in. <laughs> I hate him, I'm not, I do, I hate him. It's like wild, it, isn't it? He like turned on his coach. Ah, he, he pulled w- him out of a fight, otherwise, he wouldn't get like killed yeah. to be fury. <laughs> people yeah. are wild quick to forget, don't they? Look, yeah, it's nuts though. He's he's shy, isn't he? Blaming someone else, sure. yeah, it's stupid. He's shy, wild, isn't he? Just so, so powerful. I'd love to hold a pad for him, just to feel his right arm. <laughs> Did you see the thing he put on Instagram? Did you see his Instagram the other day? He put up like a picture. Did you see it? Uh-huh. He put a picture up. He like he had like a mink on or like a robe. Yeah. With a gun next to him. And a bottle of red wine. What like he was, you know what I mean? He's a gangster. <laughs> I don't know. Do you reckon he'll fight again? He's old as fuck, isn't he? Uh, he's 30, 30, yeah, yeah. He's late 30s. Is he that old? Oh, he's old as fuck. I didn't know that. He can get in them. Or boxing until he's like 20 odd, didn't he? Because he's mm. basketball or something. He could still be in them, lad. If he hit you, if he like, hit you you're going fuck. to sleep like. It's so hard. You just fancy Fiori or Wilder? Joshua. Fiori or Wilder. Fiori or Joshua. Sorry, yeah. I fancy Joshua, lad. I so do I, actually. Yeah. Dude, yeah. I don't mm. know why. I think Fiori's better boxer. I just think Joshua will get it done. Catch him on the inside. Maybe they both could beat each other in a sick fight. Like, yeah. I wish it was in Wembley. Yeah. It'd be at least two fights. I know, yeah. no, it is a two I fight deal. I think it is a two yeah. fight deal, yeah. 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 I wish yeah. it was in Wembley. I'd love to go there. I think it's going to be in Saudi Arabia, isn't it? Boss that one at Wembley. Oh, lad. Full crowd, Sonny's out now. Oh, lad. <laughs> do you, you think Fury I? Yeah, yeah. I'd edge with Fury yeah. He was in our gym one day I was living in Cowboy all the time In the back So, so it was, um, It's like a dorms I was in it for like nine months I was in the back one day And uh, <laughs> I was lying on my phone This big ball bastard Based through goes <laughs> You alright lad Is this the change rooms I'm like Alright Tyson was great lad <laughs> <laughs> you, want him, you want to see him move hey, The size of the cunt um, <laughs> Fucking unreal then I got a photo. It was him and him and the other boy. The other boy was a gypsy too, you know. And uh, <laughs> the boy was naked and the, <laughs> the, the boy's front of me. Naked in the Tyson Ray goes, "Get his cock in it!" <laughs> I jump in. I'm like, then the, send the photo in the back. The boy standing naked. I'm like, can I fucking Instagram that? But I still did. Uh, so I got a photo. <laughs> twice the size you, wasn't he? Uh, literally Absolutely. twice size me. Big I funny bastard. I like him, man. I like Joshua. Joshua for me, I th- obviously you respect him as a boxer mm. and that, but we always say that he's boring. Aye. Uh, like his answers are just like yeah. so scripted and like uh, commercial. Yeah. It's just a bit fake, lad, isn't he? Like with, with the background he had and all, it's just yeah. the way he's going he's like the real nice guy, but. Like I like he can't it. change it, but yeah. doesn't he come on out, die. He's just a cool, cool guy. 
Fiori's just a few, I don't know. If Fiori, I feel like he's still going to just explode at any point and just do boxing again, though. Do we watch his interviews? Think so? Uh, yeah, he's just... Think of fuck. He doesn't care, does he? He's completely insane, the bastard. <laughs> See, he said he could beat him with 14 pints at him or something. He's yeah, yeah. Paint, he's in the paints at the minute. Yeah. He's in the paints. Yeah, he said that on the interview, didn't he? Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. I'm sure he'd fuck. He was drinking paint snap for the wildlife, fight, wasn't he? So he says. Uh, <laughs> yeah. uh, ben Davis came down. He goes, "Then what are you doing?" Uh, he shot himself. He says, "Shot himself." He says, "What are you doing?" He goes, uh, "They're non-alcoholic," and he found it after the fight they weren't. He said, he four, go, four paints. Uh, you boy, go, I, I listened to it. He was in like this American, uh, this American uh, reporter was interviewing him. He's eating a feed, and the boy goes, "Why would you do that?" He's like. I'm a grown man with five fucking children and I want a fucking beer. I'll have a fucking beer. <laughs> <laughs> Lad, I literally, Fair enough. <laughs> I literally couldn't do it. So we had, uh, we had some parties day last Tuesday, you know? Yeah, yeah. And we were like, our yeah. Wednesday. Uh, last Wednesday. Third. And uh, we were like, fuck it, we have to go for a Guinness. And Cheltenham was on, Cheltenham Vest. Cheltenham Vest was on. Yeah. Fuck it, i go for a beer. Fuck. Have to go for a Guinness. So we went and got one. They were like, uh, we were thinking, oh, I have to go for an hour. We ended up getting four Guinness. It wasn't bad. That's right, couple Four Guinness wasn't too bad. No yeah. fight. Like, I've had a fight. I don't even know. Then we went in for train the next day. And sparring. Shit. I sparred pretty well, to be honest. Fuck, I was dying. Like, <laughs> <laughs> was absolutely <laughs> fucked, eh? But that was only a warm up. Like, if you would. I never done it. Never done it before. Like, but just like Tyson Fury done that the night before fighting Wiley. You know what I mean? Fucking mental. He doesn't even look like an athlete, though, does he? He's like. Nobody's an athlete. Remember, he took off top. He was calling me an athlete to joke. See, you talking about, like, who's the best notch talent in the gym? That just seems to be a Tyson Fury, isn't it? Just so much natural talent. Yeah. Yeah. Tom reminds me of Tyson Fury, like an MMA. Tom Aspinall. Reminds me of my same the way he moves stuff. Yeah. He's trained together. They used to train together. Oh, did they? Yeah. yeah used to, when Tom oh, used was to a pro boxer, boxer. I was a pro yeah, boxer. Yeah. Something like that. I think Peter Fury was coach or something. I actually sure or something like that. He's there for a couple of years, I think. He's on a good streak at the moment, isn't he, Tom Aspinall? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think two of us called it. Yeah, yeah by two of us. So it's going well. Like it's getting he, good hype behind him. Maybe a world champion. How long do you think it'll take him? Well, that division's a, a weird one, though, isn't he? Yeah. It's like heavyweights, John Jones Aye. going up and then. But they're also yeah. old. Tom's, Tom's so young. Tom's like 27, I think, isn't he? Something like that. I think Miocic is something like 38. So yeah, he is, yeah. yeah so That's Tom. on the weekend, isn't it? In Ghana. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'd pick Tom to beat Miocic now. Yeah, I think it was too easy to hit. Definitely. He'd have to be careful in Ghana. Fuck, he'd have to be we're, careful in Ghana. We're, right? talking, we're talking about the gym the other day, and I was like, what's the game plan there? It was just, just have to be careful. And gee, but like, uh, I think Tom could be champion now, yeah. Mm-hmm. You got any more questions or you finish up? Yeah, we always finish on what's your favourite paint? <laughs> I knew oh, you right, right. 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 just love paint. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Guinness for me, and you know, I love fucking love Guinness. I had fucking them four Guinness the other day. Dead. <laughs> <laughs> Shenanigans, you've tasted it in Liverpool. Shenanigans. Nah. That's probably the best Guinness in Liverpool. I I've never I'll had have to Guinness. give it a while. Never, ah, never, never know. Jesus, lad. Go to Shenanigans, lad. Oh, that's good. Where is it, though? L- around the corner. Yeah, that's only around the corner. Uh, t- I, I don't know what you call it. Tatum Street or something it's called. But the paints here are way better. Like back home, there's a there's no Prava or. We come here talking with fight, then I'm talking with fucking paints. <laughs> <laughs> never fucking drink. No, we li- we literally never drink. Never get to any get there. But when you get a chance, fucking enjoy it. It's like we small windows. You get trained for months, months, months. Get a fight, go fucking a wall. <laughs> and get back in there, then get back in the drink. That's why. That's why you kind of want to get a fight, you know, because then you can fucking. Uh, <laughs> just for the session. <laughs> 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 the only reason I want to fight. Uh, what's the meal that your dad after after like the fight's over and you've won? Then what's the first thing you eat? I I don't eat I don't I don't, I don't, I don't really like shit food to be honest. No, see I do, lad, but I don't I don't really like shit food when I'm like uh, not in camp. And then see when you can't have it, yeah, mm. that's when you're like fuck. I'd love some, but anything, lad. I don't know, probably McDonald's. Yeah, just anything. <laughs> you need your hands on. Yeah, so thanks very much for that, boys. Yeah, nice yeah, one. No worries, no worries, lads. We hope yeah. you all enjoyed it. And don't forget to like and subscribe, please. Thanks, man.